Hey guys, uh, Corey here from Team Prestige. Um, I'm on my buddy Greg Farley's YouTube channel, Wise Guys, and I just got second place at our Friday Night Locals playing Blind Second Plunder Patrol. Uh, my matchups, it was, so it was four rounds. Um, I uh, played the Mirror round one, uh, one, played Sharks round two. That matchup is hilariously bad because all their monsters are in water, so all I can summon is Blackbeards until I actually get into my engine. Uh, but we won that one. Then we played against uh, my buddy Aaron playing Kashira, uh, beat him, uh, and then we played against another Kashira round four, uh, and we ended up losing in a scenario where just got kind of unlucky, but also got greedy and misplayed. I realized I could have played out of it, but not the point. So we got second place, and now I'm just gonna show you the list. So to start with plunders, um, I played one red beard, and then three of the rest of them. Um, so, for those of you who don't know what these cards do, Redbeard is by far the worst one. Um, basically, when he goes from the field or hand of the graveyard, uh, so he, first of all, he's a pilot. Uh, same with Whitebeard. These are two uh, main deck pilots. Um, they tag out into ships, uh, and then when this one goes to the graveyard, you can uh, equip it to any of your opponent patrol monsters you control. Uh, which helps because you have uh, black eyes who can summon it from there, or it can be the extra boost due to the field spell to make your board big enough to swing over everything. Uh, black eyes is your recursion play every turn. Uh, this card's absurd. So uh, on summon, it plunder locks you, but it uh, it targets the plunder in the graveyard, adds it back to hand, special summons itself. And then when it goes to the graveyard, it special summons a plunder patrol monster from your back row in defense position. Uh, Bluebeard is an extender. Um, where if you control a plunder patrol, you can special summon from your hand, and then when it goes to the graveyard, you can discard any card to draw a card. Uh, help cycle your hand and get you into uh, the more powerful cards uh, outside of your engine. Golden Hair is also recursion. Every turn once she's in the graveyard, you just discard a card, summon her, and she plunder locks you. Uh, or you can discard one other plunder card to special uh, one other plunder monster to special summon her from the hand, and she does not lock you on that effect. Uh, and then Whitebeard's by far the best one. When he goes to the graveyard, he e tellies. Uh, so when he goes to grave, you can summon Redbeard, and then Redbeard can go into another ship. And uh, if you discard him to a ship, all the ships add another name. So your second ship is also alive and can continue to interact with your opponent. So 13 Plunder Monsters. And then there was only four more monsters in the main deck. Uh, three Water Enchantress and one Griffin Rider. Um, I've played around with Illegal Knight. He's currently in the side deck, which we'll get to later. Uh, but this is just the standard adventure lineup. Uh, for spells, I have three Shipyard, one Terraforming. Uh, just four copies of Field Spell. It's probably the best card in the deck. Uh, it discards to add any Plunder card. Um, and then when it's in the graveyard, you can target a Plunder monster in your back row, uh, add it back to your hand, and then set it. Um, and you can activate it uh, as many times per turn, but you can only use each effect once per turn. Uh, then we have the Adventure spells. So Dracoback, Fateful, Double Right of Armesier. Uh, I don't play three right of armies here because I don't, uh, I don't want to see too much adventure engine. Two is usually enough. Uh, you have five with enchantress. Um, I can't remember the exact math on five and forty, but because you're, you're going second, you also have the additional uh, percentages from drawing a sixth card. Uh, and then we have the go second suite in the main deck, which is uh, harpy's feather duster, two lightning storm, uh, three Raigeki, three talents. Three thrust and three evenly matched. Um, so the goal of this deck is to just like open like one, two, maybe three pieces of engine, and then all go second pieces. So uh, that way you can trade your go second pieces into the board. They use their floating effects. They chain some stuff. Uh, for example, against Labyrinth, when you lightning storm them, they'll go like welcome Labyrinth into Ariana, lose the back row, and then Ariana effect to add. That's where Thrust comes in because now they control a monster and they use a monster effect. So you can use Thrust and you can go grab Terraforming to get you into your Plunder engine, or you can grab Right of Armies here to get you into an Adventure engine. Or if you need to, if, or if you already have those cards, you can just go get like a Regeki, a Harpies, and Evenly, or a Tactics. Um, I don't think there's any other Go Second cards I'd play in the main deck. Uh, the other option is to uh, cut down on like all of these, maybe play like two and two, cut the rest, and then play like. Ashes and other hand traps, but I just prefer the ghost. I just prefer the blind second build uh, because it feels like uh, it's easier to play through disruption. Mm -hmm. The only deck that really matters with Ash is just you know the fusion deck. Yeah, Brandon, but the Ash also hurts this deck a lot because all of your effects add cards, so all of it can be ashed. Um, so 40 cards in the main deck. 
Uh, extra deck is uh, two light ship, two earth ship, two fire ship, two dark ship, um, and then three of the pilot. Uh, so Lys is a monster negate uh, and also special summons plunder monsters from the back row. Uh, Yord uh, is the best one. That, that's, that's the reason to play the deck now. Um, so when it's, on, when it's in the monster zone, you target a plunder, car a plunder card in your graveyard, add it to your hand, put it in the pen scale. When it's in the pen scale, you can return it to the extra deck to make two plunder tokens and you get to choose the attribute. So against back row decks, you can make fire to make brand, which is then quick effect cosmic cyclone, which keeps adding monsters. Uh, against uh, monster decks, you can make Moork if they don't normally go into darks, uh, which banishes monster, adds a plunder spell or trap. Uh, or usually you're making a light to go into list because uh, a lot of decks right now, other than like branded, are really light on the light monsters other side of like Nibiru and Lancia. Um, and then Blackbeard is just quick effect, target and effect monster you control, special summon a plunder ship from your extra deck, uh, so himself or any of these with an attribute of something in your opponent's field or graveyard. So 11 ships, and then the last four in the extra deck is Zeus, El Mirage, and Double Winged Erebo. Um, I'm thinking about probably cutting this to one. It doesn't come up as much. It was more so for when uh, all the cashier players were signing Ibli, uh, because they could take one out, but they couldn't take both. So now uh, they can, not so now they leave both, but they usually take out like a Blackbeard, which is fine, but you have to be really set up. Losing your Blackbeard's hurt. Um, and then Zeus is also because uh, you can go like Talents, take an Arise Heart, make a Zeus. I didn't want to be caught without it. Uh, and then Almirage sets up for a one card combo with Golden Hair, uh, where you can make Blackbeard if your hand is really bad and they made you go first. Or if you're locked. Or if you're locked. That, that also almost came up. Um, so, yep, 15. And then in the side deck, I played one Scarlight. This didn't come up. I didn't expect it to come up. I just didn't want to be caught without it. Uh, it's probably getting cut for other things once I figure out what I want to play. Um, I play the Illegal Knight. Uh, this is for like back row matchups. Um, and also, uh, just anytime I feel like I need an additional monster to go second, same with the three copies of Fenrir in the side deck. Um, just basically a Panker Tops that searches another copy of itself. Really good. Uh, three, Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, this is for like anti spell skill drain goes in. Uh, Rivalry doesn't hurt you, which we also play it. Um, so, and also for like Runic Fountain, uh, you just basically want to have another piece of removal so you can side out like your uh, Regekis against Labyrinth for something that is still going to be impactful. And then the third Lightning Storm, of course. Uh, and then the last six are three go, f are six go first cards, three Barrier, three Rivalry. Um, so Barrier is obviously really good. Uh, rivalry, not only does it uh, let you play under it uh, outside of like your adventure engine, that's kind of touchy, um, but when Yord gives them a token, you can flip rivalry, so against like Sprite, you can flip this, have your whole board in defense mode, so that way they can't crash the token, and then they're locked into fiends, and then on the next turn, because you accumulate so much advantage on every turn, uh, you're just going to end up killing them and having like 18,000 damage on the board. Uh, so yeah, the, the deck ran as intended. Um, I don't know if there's necessarily many changes I'm going to make to it. Uh, maybe just some changes in the side deck. Maybe overhauling the main deck to play hand traps and such. But other than that, yeah. So thanks for watching. See ya.